Welcome to the Savage Nation. It is Blue Monday. And uh, we're all at the end of the road here. I mean, Trump's about to be inaugurated. The evil one is about to go take his job wherever at the U.N., Goldman Sachs, wherever. And here we are sitting and watching another terrorist event last Friday at Fort Lauderdale Airport covered up by the FBI and the media. Yes, the FBI says um, absolutely no evidence that he had any jihadist connections. Again, that's even though he clearly has jihadist connections, which we'll prove to you beyond a reasonable doubt today's, on today's program, because we will have a former PLO terrorist on, Walid Shubat, who was not fooled for one second by various and sundry activities of the jihadists amongst us, including those inside our intelligence agencies, who Trump very intelligently doesn't trust. How's that? Mr. Trump, you're intelligent for not trusting the so-called intelligence agencies who failed us again. Mr. Trump, throw them all out. Let them go get jobs in Saudi Arabia as baggage handlers. So that's one topic we're going to show you beyond a reasonable doubt that we had yet another terror attack while the dunce in the White House was partying with his Hollywood friends. Ugh. Oh, my God. Lower. It gets every day lower and lower. I can't wait till he is gone from the White House. Now, the Fort Lauderdale shooter is a Muslim terrorist. We have photo evidence. We'll talk about that. It was a giveaway. On Friday, when I went on the air, I took a chance. Uh, incidentally, you're not imagining you're hearing a radio show that's repeating what you're actually thinking. This is Michael Savage. This is a national radio talk show. It is broadcast on several hundred and some odd stations. And... Um, what I'm telling you is the truth here. It's the Emmys. It's the bottom line. The Fort Lauderdale shooter, now the media said deranged, crazy, maniac, remember? Slipped through the system. Why didn't he get mental health care? Right, 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 right. Sure. I wasn't fooled. Not for one minute. The Florida shooter, Esteban Santiago, way back in 07, he joined MySpace under the name Ashok Hamad. Did you know that? Oh, the FBI didn't catch that one. The FBI was busy checking their diversity training book to see if they could even report that. He registered on MySpace under the name Ashik Hamad, and he recorded Islamic religious music on the site three years before he even went to Iraq as a U.S. soldier. This destroys completely the filthy liars in the media that he was simply deranged, a veteran, and that guns need to be seized. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll tell you more about that later. He threw wild parties before shooting. Now, that's the backdrop to today's show. But before we go to that, I got to tell you what else I got for you, because I'm pent up.